Welcome to Chase Talks, my name's Chase, and this is Better Late Than Never Reviews, the only show where we review TV shows and movies way past their relevance, though sometimes they are reviewed when they are somewhat relevant. If you want to see our ranking system, you can see a breakdown of that in the description. But with no further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the review. And in this episode, we're going to be reviewing Disenchantment Season 2. Two. Now, before we get any further, this video may contain spoilers, so just be warned. Now, previously on the channel, I did review the first part of Disenchantment, and I didn't really have that stunning of a review on it. I didn't really have a fully formed opinion, I guess. Like, I didn't really know whether it was good or bad, and I didn't really think it was that funny. So, going into the second season, I know I definitely wanted to watch the second season because I didn't really feel feel whether or not I actually had an opinion on the show, whether I liked it, whether I hated it. So I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and watch the second season and I'll give it a chance and see whether or not I actually like it. And while going through and watching the second season, I got a lot of the same results as watching the first season. As far as the story is concerned, I, it didn't really feel like much happened. It felt like in like the first episode, or maybe the second, like between the first two episodes, they kind of rounded up everything they were trying to accomplish from the first season like anything that was held over besides the fact that there are like people like conspiring against the king which it seemed like this entire season was about it seemed like everything was kind of rounded up from the last season besides her mom and then her mom just kind of got punted to the third season and she was like barely in it besides giving her stalker dreams and as as far as the comedy is concerned it it still wasn't that funny <laughs> It had, like, some decent one-liners. Like, there were some times where I'd be like, ha, 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 But throughout the entire one, I wasn't, like, there was no episode that just, like, had me in stitches. There was no episode I was, like, laughing nonstop throughout the entire episode. I thought it was funny. It was just, like, a bunch of moments. Not even a bunch of moments. I should say, like, one moment per episode where I'd go, ha! And that was about the best they could get out of me. I don't know, it really kind of reminds me of recent episodes of Family Guy and The Simpsons, where I watch the episode, and I'm like, wow, that was funny, to one part of the episode, and then the rest of the episode, I'm like, like meh, like, I don't really know. And I don't think that it's not my humor, because some people might be like, well, if you don't think it's funny, it's because it's not your sense of humor. I don't think that's the case, I just, I don't know, I feel like they pride jokes and it just misses the mark as far as the characters are concerned and character development i like i think i liked bean more this season than the previous season lucy's character development was good i guess i mean it was impactful the way the storyline had it set up but i don't know he kind of seemed like the same character and he kind of always seemed like he cared so him showing that he cares didn't really catch me by surprise and then Elfo, I think they're trying to, like, play in some, like, PTSD elements almost for him, where he gets, like, super serious and stuff like that, but I don't really know. I feel like the character that got the most development this season was actually her brother. Uh, her, like, lizard brother got, like, the most character development, and, uh, I mean, that wasn't a bad thing. Uh, but I felt like, yeah, that's what, it almost felt like this entire season was just to give him character development, so I don't feel like if there's... I mean, maybe he'll have more importance in the future, but I I, I really don't know. <laughs> I feel like, I feel bad because I feel like I'm just gonna, I'm just shitting on this show the entire time I'm reviewing it. There was honestly, between the two seasons of the show, just not that much that caught my attention. <laughs> like, I'm struggling to even review it. Um, I know I want to review it because I reviewed the first part and when the season came out I knew I wanted to watch it because I wanted to know what my opinion on the show was and I mean kind of whatever if that makes sense. I think this is a good time I'll go ahead and give it my better late than ever rating of meh, meh watch it once. once and that's kind of how I feel about it right the show is kind of meh I mean should you watch the first two seasons of the show I guess watch it once. Uh, it might be your thing, you might enjoy it, you might not, but, I mean, I don't think the show's great, I don't think the show's bad, the show's just meh, that's my overall opinion on the show, it's just meh, there's nothing really throughout the entire show that's caught my attention, 
There's nothing that I've absolutely hated. There's just been... I haven't really been phased while watching it. I don't know if I'm going to watch the third season. There's definitely going to be a third season with the way it ends, I feel. I don't know if I'm going to watch the third season or not. Um, I might. I probably will. And I'll probably still think it's meh. <laughs> um, and I'll just probably do it because I'm bored. But I'm not giving it an if you're bored rating. I'm giving it a meh watch it once. Because I don't think the show is that bad. But I don't think the show is that good either. That's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you never miss another episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase. Signing off.